Okay, now we're gonna do the gray. And just follow it along the same lines. If your gray is too dark and you want it to be lighter, um, put a little bit of the cream in there and you can lighten it up. This one might be a little bit darker. There, and then I usually put some down here, kind of on the cap area. Then I usually put a little bit of pink in the ears. And same thing, if this pink is too dark and you would want it a little bit lighter, you could put some cream in there. Just give him some, a little bit of pink ears. I'm not gonna be able to see a whole lot of this because that's where that rope goes through. But I like him to have a little bit of take my brush and I want to give this one a little bit of rosy cheek right here. So take it and take almost all the paint out. Just give a little bit of a rosy cheek. There. Okay, now we're going to work on the pom-poms and you should have had a little sponge brush like this. You can use this side or this side, they're both gonna make a really good circle. Um, this one you are gonna have to rinse out, so just be sure that you get uh, a lot, if you use the sponge side, get all the water out of it. <clears throat> now I'm gonna start with the pink, and I usually just kind of twist it. All right, my paint ran together. Um, twist it instead of punching it. So it just twists around. And I'm gonna just go here. And I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go here. These might be a little bit big. So this time I'm gonna use this color, this blue color. I'm gonna use the back instead, make the other one smaller. And you can use all the same size or different sizes, um, like this one. And this makes a really nice polka dot. And I'm gonna go with the coral. outlining so you want your little skinny skinny brush the skinniest one you have and I dip it into the black and then kind of tap it off just a little bit and I'm gonna start with her eye I say her this one's a girl Here's my eyelashes <clears throat> and then I just kind of like Give it an edge.
Same thing with the blanket. I just like to give it a little bit of outlining so it'll have a little bit of detail in there. It doesn't have to have this. I always like it to have a little bit of detail in there and then I like to go back and give a little bit of detail on these so the colors underneath and the blacks on top but you don't need much paint at all and just go on top of them just kind of give it a little bit of a highlight but the colors on the bottom And then I do the same thing with the lines on the pom-poms. Just pull that line down. And that's really just to cover up that pencil mark. And if you wanted to, you could put some more polka dots inside your pom-poms. These bigger ones, maybe. Make them kind of fun and whimsy. We're going to make her a bow because I had this stuff out here real quick. People always ask me about, just a bit, about bow making. So I'm going to show you how I would make this bow if I was here. I take two pieces and these are short because this piece is, doesn't take a very big bow and I um, put them in an X, and then I squeeze the middle. Looks like so. And then I take usually one of a colored ribbon, and I squeeze it in the middle, and I just stack it right on top. And kind of fold it over. Then I use a pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna go across the middle around to the back and squeeze and just twist that pipe cleaner. Um, I use pipe cleaner because I think it's easier to hold on to than floral wire. Um, I have people ask a lot of times why we don't use floral wire, but I just feel like it's easier to hold on to. And then you can use anything to cover up that pipe cleaner. So anything for a middle. I am using tool today, but sometimes we use a piece of the ribbon that we used Sometimes we use rope. You can really use anything. And just twist those two around. And just tie it in the back. And then you get some scissors. And just cut off all your ex excess. That's extra. Just cut that off. that pipe cleaner down there so you can't really see it and then I like to push the wires down with my thumb like that and then you have a cute little bow right there and if you want to you can cut them shorter like I said this one this piece doesn't take a very big bow I'm gonna turn these down just a little bit So when you're doing this at home, you'll probably want to glue them on. Um, if you come to our studio, we staple them on. So if you have a stapler, you can staple them on. Um, but if you don't, 
And sometimes I put them up here like that. Um, I had a friend that did theirs and they did it down on the tail. That was really, really cute too. You can even go up. Anyway, so that is our llama. And that's how we painted our sample llama right there. So I'll put that on later. Thank you. That was our llama.